Hey guys, you're watching Daniel Jan React, and today we're gonna check out the trailer for Peeply Live. Uh, it came out in 2010. Uh, this the link was sent to us by Anirban Giri. You've been a long time subscriber of the channel, and sent us to the, it's requested it a few times, so we are finally getting around to it. One of the few people to join the live chat for our YouTube premiere, by the way. Thank you for those of you that joined, by the way. On um, our next one will be for the Uta Punjab film. Which we don't know when this is coming out. Yeah, so, so if, you, if you saw it, great. If you didn't, well, catch us on the next one. Yeah. Because I don't know when this video comes out. We so, record it all in one day. So let's, uh, let's do it. Oh yeah, this is India's official selection to the Oscars. She didn't say Jumbi. Oh, great. Now, his brother has a plan to win it all back. <laughs> Every eight hours, a farmer in the country has been committing suicide. Namaste. <laughs> When there's nothing left to sell. Oh, is that kettle corn? Oh man. Is that a thing in India too? I hope so. Your life is worth more than you know. This is an absolutely shocking turn of events. Natha Das has gone missing. Well, at least these quotes are coming from the Hollywood Reporter. Maybe that doesn't mean anything to you, but. We need to cut the trailer. I want to cut the trailer off right now, to be honest with you. Because, like, I want to watch this and I feel like it's spoiling the story. In a world. In a world with where poor farmers, farmers, poor farmers, can't grow stuff because there's no water. And they kill themselves. They kill themselves to get money from the government. This and farmer decides to take his life to save his family's farm. You know, those over, those over, those voiceovers are awful. Yeah. They kill and them. you can thank America for those. I'm what I'm, it's one of those things <laughs> I, I'm glad that those things are like, they don't exist anymore in, in modern trailers because, you know, they were always something we'd make fun of. And, and, always, mm -hmm. always, and they never, they never stopped. People were like, "Fuck it, we'll just double down on it." I mean, I haven't done, you know, we don't do research on shit, but I'd love to look up when they stopped doing, when the voiceover guy lost his job, when like, he quit, when they, they decided they're not going to do that anymore. He just moved to TV because they do it in TV yeah. still all the time. <laughs> but it's a interesting concept. I mean, I'd watch it. Americon production. Yeah. So we we know that there's some quality there. Uh, I, I, I knew there was quality there after I finished sucking Amir Khan's dick last night. He mentioned yeah. that I probably should react to Peeply Live. Yes. I might like it because um, that's what people say, that we were born to suck Amir Khan's dick. Yes. So I guess that's an honor. I mean, Amir Khan's a pretty popular guy. If you were born, you were created, you know, all of your lineage, of all the years of evolution from humans <laughs> up until the point where you were made just to suck Amir Khan's dick. I mean, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty honorable. Not a lot of people get to suck Amir Khan's dick, and not a lot of people get to say that they were created. Of. Yeah. That's true, but I was going to say now. How many people, people were created? Absolutely. Created specifically to yes. suck his dick. Yeah, like you were in a lab, like a like you're like the Terminator, but of dick sucking, but only Amir Khan. Both of us. Don't don't dick. don't don't leave yourself out of the equation too. They I mentioned both of us. The comment was directly 
No, maybe it was both. It of was us. both. And then I like pushed it towards in your direction. Because you you Because I'm a married to... man, um, so that would be he, cheating. That's that's him hiding his gayness. Yeah. Yeah. See he said this yes. is, sure. This is Daniel completely accepting his. Uh, so, no shame, no shame. Yeah. This is twenty eighteen. But uh also, um, I'm not this fat guys. I'm just I borrowed a shirt because because black shirts on just don't look, they don't pop very well. So he decided to so wear this I, one. Yeah, I grabbed, I grabbed one of Carlos's shirts he puts on eBay. And yeah, this thing's a, I just, know, I just noticed right now how fucking fat I am. He look looks like him. Kevin James. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like I, got all, I got all this extra, like, and I'm trying to, I was like trying to, like, maybe I could, you know. You need a paper clip yeah, like, to really? put it in the back. And even then, that's not, not helping as much. So maybe I am that fat. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let us know if you watch this, what you thought of it. We want to watch it. Yeah, I think absolutely. So. I think I can it's, speak uh, for both. I mean, we, we made jokes. We didn't talk about the trailer very much. But it looks fun. It looks interesting. I'm very curious to know more about this story and what, because this is obviously, if, if this is happening enough for Amir Khan to step in and say, hey, we need to make a movie about this, yeah. it obviously must have reached crisis point prior to this movie being made or even during the release and of this just, film. And making comedies that have a social message are always very, very important. Yeah. And uh -huh. Because it allows you to swallow things easier, um, like Amir Khan. Not necessarily mock them, per se. But anyways, uh, I just got the Amir <laughs> Wow, this guy just <laughs> slid that one in. Uh, anyways, guys, that's <laughs> like Amir Khan's dick in my mouth. That's going to do it for us, guys. You know, just smash that like button, leave comments, <laughs> let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.